In the previous episode, we spent the first couple days of our eight-day Bahamas adventure on Bimini and Chub Key. This week, we make a 120 nautical mile cruise from Chub Key to Staniel Key, where we spend our days snorkeling everything from a sunken plain to an ocean aquarium with more fish than I've ever seen. And of course, hanging out with the pigs. Continue along with me on this journey. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities and the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. Good morning. So we are leaving Chub Key for Staniel Key this morning. I have managed to throw out my back. So this should be a fairly interesting day and hopefully I recoup. So I will share that journey with you along the way. So we stopped because there are whales So these are fixed docks, look at the water. I'm going up to pay for our space and check in. These are some of our yachts over there. This one's someone else's. Oh, I see a spot to put my sticker. Super cool. Might be a little full. And then this is the office. So I look terrible, so bear with me. Um, like I said, I threw my back out, and this has just been a little bit of a rough journey. It's hard when you don't have a traveling partner to help you with your bags. But anyways, staff was really great. Um, I had some team members that helped and some customers, which is really sweet. And uh, we're here at Staniel K Yacht Club, and they got me a cart to give me a ride. So I'm in a two-story cottage called the Swimming Piggies. How cute is that? And you a little eating area here. 
I'm not sure where that door goes. I think it goes upstairs, maybe. It's locked. I think that's good. It goes upstairs to the other people. And then I've got a little tiny kitchen and my own bath, which is nice. Because originally I was sharing a room with um, another uh, couple. So I like that we have kind of our own separate thing. How cute is this? So these are the cottages we are staying at. And then the purple one in the back. It's very laid back here at Staniel Key. And there's our sport yacht in the distance. So I'm gonna head that way for the party. So this is what the marina looks like at night. Pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, the water is not underwater lights. It's what the water looks like. Look at this shark. He's just a happy little shark. This morning we are gonna go the north end, right? North end with Staniel Key Adventures. So here we go. We hired Staniel Key Adventures to take our group on some cool adventures. These guys know the waters and the islands best, so I highly recommend using a local. For most of the time, we were flying at 50 miles per hour in really shallow waters. It was such a cool adventure. And what is this called again? Wardrick Wells. Wardrick Wells. Okay. First stop. So we stopped here. This is called Exuma's K Land and Sea Park. It's got some angry skies as you can hear. Still beautiful. And these guys have been playing with sea bob. Managed by the parks, I was amazed by all of the mooring balls. Our next stop was Norman's Key, where we snorkeled a sunken plane. Back in the late 70s and early 80s, Norman's Key was a stopping point for drug transportation operated by Carlos Letter. There are many stories as to why the plane crashed. One is that the plane crashed during takeoff due to too much of a heavy load. We just dove, not dove, we snorkeled the Escobar's plane, but the current is really, really wicked through here. So I was scared I was going to get scratched by the metal, but hopefully my footage turned out okay. Everybody. We're leaving the plane, heading to lunch. So they have dropped us off there, and we are headed in for lunch. I'm not even sure where we are, so we're gonna find out where we are. Those are major cicadas. I got my shorts in my hand because when we jumped into the water, it turns out I was chest deep, it dried off. Man. Serious cicadas. Was that a live one over there? Look at this. I don't know. Lovely lunch. Now we're headed back. It's probably take us an hour to get back. After lunch, we headed to the sea aquarium. I was hesitant to go snorkeling, but the guides insisted. If you know me, you'll know I'm just getting comfortable with snorkeling and prefer to have Scott by my side. This was a big step for me as I jumped right in. 
I don't need to tell you how clear the water was or why they call it the Sea Aquarium. It was certainly something I'll never forget. The day was getting late, but our guys at Staniel Key Adventures had one more surprise. As they were blasting awesome tunes, we flew across shallow waters towards a sandbar. As we approached, we were barely in one foot of water. It was such a cool experience. The sandbar is normally covered during high tide. Whoa, this is crazy. Okay, we're on our last stop of the day with Staniel key adventures and we are at this crazy sandbar we pulled in at about 45 miles an hour weaving in and out I don't know if you can see behind me can you see the sand this is normally underwater at high tide and we're now just standing here but you have to weave in and out of all the spots where it's and he was flying I tried to videotape it we'll see I'm gonna enjoy the sunset Wow, what a long day. So we left at 10.30. We had breakfast at 8 for the group, and we left at 8, 10.30. And we, again, we were Staniel Key uh, Ventures. And if I could recommend anything, this was probably the most epic day I've had. I mean, they we had a, a, follow, a boat follow us, part of our crew, and they took us through places that no boater would take you. He's a local. And we were flying, I'd say we were going 40 miles an hour, in and out of, oh, I'm good, thanks guys. So friendly. And in and out of, you know, rock formations and, oh, it was crazy. It was pretty cool. Really pretty cool. So tonight I'm going to shower up and try to maybe grab a bite to eat. Good morning. It is day three, our last day here at Daniel Key. Hopefully you can hear me okay. That sound you hear behind me are cicadas. And they are so loud that it is difficult to even hear. They, uh, apparently it's in mating season. So it's absolutely beautiful here. You can see again, another lovely day. We've really lucked out on the weather. I think today I'm supposed to go with the pigs, maybe the grotto. I'm just kind of uh, long for the ride. Again, it's a work trip, um, but it really is cool here. The only thing I would, again, I say is bring lots and lots of bug spray because you will get eaten alive. I have hundreds and hundreds of bites, hundreds. <laughs> so, and now the cicadas stop. So let's go check in with my crew. And the other thing about the island is you run out of power. So we lost power last night just as I was getting in the shower and then we've, we've been out of power now since um, 6.30 this morning. So we'll see if the resort has a generator because our cottages certainly do not. So let's go find out. That is the fuel dock for Staniel Key. We just got fuel and you're going to see these are some of the cottages that they have. There's a few more over there. Today we're whoop. <laughs> today we're gonna head out, I guess, and go on a private island. These are all mooring balls you can see outside of Staniel Key. It's pretty shallow. I am on our 
big yacht. Sandbar. I'll have to ask Louise. I think this is a different one. This is very cool. Definitely a different one. My last night of Sandbar. Since I hadn't seen the pigs yet, my team surprised me by swinging by Pig Island so I could see them at sunset. Hey guys. Bye piggies! I'll come back another day. Great last day. Continue with me on my journey as next time I wrap up my travels with my visits to Nassau and Bimini before heading home back to Florida. And those are nurse sharks, right? They're just looking for a pet. They just want to be petted. Come see.